Hi, sir. Hi. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Today you need to on your video. Hi, sir. Hi. Sir. Morning. Today background change. Today background change. Then second class will be change another background. <laughs> nice. Sir, it's I have a question. Room. It's my another room. Yes, sir. I can understand. Your laptop is your house. <laughs> yeah. For sure, it's your another room. Kamal, on your video. Ritesh and Kamal, please on your video. Kumul and Rahul, Rohit, sorry, Rohit, on your video. Everyone on this group, on your video and audio.
everyone in this group uh, on your video and uh, remember whenever you ask the questions you on your uh, microphone uh, you know uh, unmute and then you call tell me so let's start uh, you if today is a discussion forum if you have any kind of questions so you can ask me no issues regarding the you know regarding maybe from the nptl video or maybe uh, till you know my third class is over so a lot of thing uh, we are discussed already so if you have any kind of questions you can ask <coughs> or you can raise your hand so i can uh, you know get back to you one by one Sir. yeah tell me sir is the instruction wheel size 8051 microcontroller is same as 8085 uh, pardon please sir is the instruction wheel size in 8051 microcontroller is same as 8085 instruction byte instruction wheel size sir instruction no 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 it is completely different it's completely different 85 and you know every processor you know the size of the instruction is completely different and you know the instruction also is different <coughs> not same whatever the available in 8085 and 8051 all are you know different instructions yes next sir i have a question yeah sir, if me. a program status word in 16h bit then uh, which rank we will use uh, uh, program status word yes is 16 h default data status. 16 h then which bank will be used by the register now uh, you, you, how, you, you should be clarified you, you should be clarified the psw.3 and psw.4 these two bit what are the value maybe sir, it is not given huh? sir it is it is it is not given it is the question no, of no 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 need no need yes, you just you, you just you know uh, dividing 16 into the binary so what will be the result 16 means 0 0 0 0 1. 0 0 1 and 1 and 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 yes sir so psw dot 3 and psw dot 4 is nothing but a 1 0 yes, sir. just if you put it down so psw dot 0 to psw dot 7 so psw dot 3 is nothing but a 0 for 6 and you know psw dot 4 that is for 1 it is one, a 1 four. so 1 0 so 1 0 is nothing but a you know uh, you will be bank. get bank 2 Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Next questions by anyone? Abhishek Pandey, you have any questions? You can unmute and you can uh, tell me whatever you have, the questions and all. Sir, why implicit addressing mode is not possible in 8051? Uh, it will be depend upon the, you know, depend upon the functions. It depend upon the functions, what are the instructions. You know, 8085, there are five addressing mode. Yes, in 8086, is completely different. It's a 12 addressing mode. You know, the function of the instruction is quite different, quite the others with respect to the previous one. The 8085 has a limited instruction set. 8051, you know, the, the limitations, you uh, whatever it is will be available in 8085, those limitations, you know, fulfilled by 8086. 
and afterwards whenever we come into the 8051 and peak microcontroller avr all the you know uh, what are the requirement of 8086 which is not fulfilled by 8086 it will, it will be you know done in 8051 so all the instruction is classified into several groups not only four or five groups in 8085 you you have a five addressing mode in 8086 there is 12 addressing mode so addressing mode is different as the instructions function is quite you know uh, the different quite different yesterday whenever we had um, discussed there are four addressing mode if you are if you see that the fast addressing mode is nothing but immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode is you know uh, where you, you has data whatever the given the first example move a comma has 32 h and the direct addressing mode is nothing but a move a comma 32 means you know the 32 h is act as a address and the content of that particular address will be copied into the accumulator and then you know the third example that is move a comma r0 this is a completely register addressing mode because the content of register will be copied into the another registers that is the third example and the fourth example if i am you know um, if i am uh, if you remember the fourth example is nothing but a move a comma at the rate of r0 what are the functions of at the rate of here the content is just like a pointer here the content of r0 act as a address and the content of that particular address will be copied into the accumulator. So whenever we are given the at the rate of it, just like a point as a pointer, you know the content of that particular memory locations will be copied into the accumulator. This mode, that is, a, this is called indirect addressing mode. In this indirect addressing mode, you know the only the valid only for the two registers, R0 and R1. Yes. So any questions? If you have, uh, yes. Sir. Tell me. Sir, what type of special functions can be performed in SFRs? Special function register. There are a lot of special function register. Whenever I am discussing this on, I will be discussed. Uh, you know, uh, first of all, uh, TCON, the timer control, T mode, timer mode. We have a, you know, two different timer. One is a T0 and one is a T T, T1 that is the timer 0 and timer 1 both are 16 bit wide you can select the various mode whatever your requirement the delay time what are the expectations of you the delay time so according to that you know you choose various kind of mode that's why T mode and the, you you know control the timer there is a T con then T con power control S con serial control you know IE interrupt enable ip interrupt priority s buff serial buffer psw program status word lots of sfr registers is there whenever we are discussing you know third class or fourth class we will be going into the same fashions uh, how to you know how to implement those those you know, and how you know with the help of this how the program is created program is very important for you If you have any questions, so you can ask. Otherwise, uh, you know, we go to the session. Sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, sir, how? What is the difference between TH zero and TH one? Higher level and lower level. Yeah. Uh, TH is zero and. TH zero. TH one. Yes, sir. TA is 0 and TA is 1. Very good. Actually, you know, there are two timer. One is a timer 0, another is timer 1. Every timer have timer a 16 one. bit. Okay. Uh, every timer have a 16 bit wide. 16 bit timer. Okay. So you 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 know you have a uh, 8 bit registers or every memory location can store only the 8 bit data. So only 8 bit data you can store, not more than that. So as we are compared with a 16 bit register, so you need basically two kind of registers. One is called higher byte, another is called lower byte. Two 8 bit register together is called timer zero register. Two registers together is called timer one registers. So for timer zero, TA is zero and TL zero. TA is zero is called timer high zero and TL zero is called timer low zero. And TH one is nothing but a timer high one and TL one is nothing but a timer low one so basically th1 and tl1 together is timer one register ta is zero and tl zero together is called timer zero register that is the nothing but a ta is zero and tl zero thank you sir. so let quite from this group we are uh, you know, uh, if, if any queries, if you have, you can ask.
Actually, yesterday I asked you a question that is the relative address. So, uh, can you uh, can you know what is the relative address? Relative address is basically nothing but a, you know the difference between two 16-bit address. How relative address will be worked uh, today? We will discuss is a you know very important one. You know, in 8085. All the all the programs are nothing but a machine dependent as well as memory locations dependent. If you are changing the memory locations, the program will not be executed. Like say you are write a program from 8008. You write a program from 8008, and you know um, your program maybe write you, your program is write from the 8008, and you you know you are given an instruction like JJ 8500 or JJ 8 502 or 8507 so in your program whenever you are write the program whenever you change the locations of initial locations that is from 8500 to 8000 8, h then it will be changed completely the program totally changed completely because you know the instruction is not working in that particular cases so how this problem will be solved that will be nothing but a uh, it will be done in uh, your um, um our next uh, class today's today's class is nothing but a relative address how the relative address is work so we are eliminating this group and you are joining in the next uh, next group uh, thank you thanks to everyone